You have a big couple days ahead of you. It was a day like this 22 days ago. I was sitting here icing and I rolled over and I felt like a pencil snap inside my body. Turned out it was one of my ribs. Should your ribs snap under your own body weight on the couch? I'm not sure if that's a good sign. Anyhow, it's day 22 of that and uh, it's coming along now. I'm still never gonna roll over again. I'm only gonna get up now from now on off the couch like this. Yesterday I had a little zone three on the run. Still feels good. Hitting it with the bone stimulator 30 minutes a day, that seems to help. And so that's the, and then so I'll do a two hour bike workout, little quick easy run, and then we'll head to the airport. And then we're going to Los Angeles, to Hollywood, to shoot a commercial with the feed, with a bunch of other athletes. And so uh, it'll be fun. I'm excited for that. We kind of get in, get out. We're in Wednesday night, out Thursday night. Here we go. All right, let's get to that bike workout. Would you do the same nutrition plan right now in a training ride that you do in a race? Um, I, for the most part, I've messed around with low carb stuff. And mm, I'm gonna go with controversial, but wasted time <laughs> for the most part, in my opinion. So, so uh, training is so taxing already, training a lot. It's already so taxing and to introduce something that's going to potentially limit both your performance during the workout and your recovery and put unnecessary stress on the body. I understand and appreciate that in the race, by the end you're getting extremely low carb. Uh, but training day to day to day to day to day is already extremely taxing and you're already loaded. Today's day three in a row, you know? And so you're already, you know, not topped up. So, so what am I doing then today on a relatively easy ride with some zone five short things? Still hitting 80 grams an hour minimum of uh, carbohydrates, maybe even closer to 90. So Does that you, answer the question? Yeah, you, you, you feel that much, how much? I've to... messed around with low carb plenty of times. I know, but how much do you try to hit in and a race? I, I, think it's, I think it's a waste of time. How much do you try to hit in a race? 100, minimum. Minimum 100. What's minimum in training? Well, I mean, I know 80. you... I would say 80. 60 would be like getting into the kind of taxing zone. 40 would be, I would label that as pretty low carb. What if you're just and doing an hour ride? Anything I... under 40 would be like a low carb session. If you're doing it for three hours or something, you know? What if you're just doing an hour ride? Would you still try to hit it or your food that you ate prior would be, could you do it? It's a bad attitude because it's holistic. And so, uh, like to say that, I can't concentrate when there's music on. <laughs> uh, to say that something doesn't matter, oh, it's only an hour, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you ride an hour at even 220 watts or something, you're still probably burning like 750 calories or something, maybe even 800 calories. And so it's like, where's the energy coming from? If you're not putting energy in, then that's 800 cows you've got to make up somewhere throughout the day that you didn't contribute to during training. But uh, this may very well be a byproduct of energy, what is the, what is, there's like a term for it, REDS or something, relative energy deficiency syndrome. I thought you eat a lot uh, on training though. I do, but if you, if you're not, if you're doing low carb or low energy stuff during sessions, I mean, it's, it's harder to eat 8,000 calories. And then if you're also trying to eat relatively good, clean, whatever you want to call it, then it puts even more stress because you've got to eat, like, you know, crappy food is calorie dense and nutritionally sparse. And, but, you know, good food is calorie sparse, nutritionally dense. And so it, it, it actually becomes quite challenging to eat good and a lot of calories. So 
This well, may very well have, it's a, probably a contributor. You may have well even say it's a contributor. Well, why wouldn't you just get to get fuel in app? I'll tell you how much you need to eat. <clears throat> I know how much I need to eat <laughs> and it's hard. It's hard, you know? Yeah. If you're eating healthy, last night we had a, we had a stir fry with 10 different vegetables in it. So we're trying to eat like a lot of um, variation. And uh, I mean, the whole thing had some two four ounce steaks, so eight ounces of steak, maybe two cups of rice, and then 10 different vegetables. I mean, I couldn't even finish a bowl of it. It's so much volume. Yet, I mean, if that was a thousand calories, I'd be impressed, you know? As opposed to, I go to McDonald's, and I sit there, I can eat 2,500 calories, and I'm still ready to go, you know? Had no nutritional content whatsoever other than macros. And so that's why just eating straight clean, for me, impossible. I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, just me babbling either. on about nothing, as per usual. No chance. Hey, bye. Stay over here. No chance. <laughs> It's like, like there is no, like they attack him, whether it's Giselle, his yeah, character, yeah, everything. Attacked, yeah, I know, it's like, oh, I'm good on that. Would you, wait, if Kim Worth did a roast, would you go to roast him? I don't know, I'm not into it. I don't know why. What, what would you rather do, travel to Europe or do a roast? <laughs> That's an easy one. Nine hours time change. Do you look at all those times on that schedule? Yeah, it's pretty That's wild. Like, right now there is, what time is it? It's 11 p.m. We have to be going to bed right now. What? Well, 3 p.m. Sir, how much do you hate traveling without the family? I'm like borderline, like, I'm good. I'm good on that. <laughs> whatever, whatever it is I'm doing, I'm good on that. How many more trips will you take without the family? Um, I mean, you gotta work, right? You gotta, you gotta earn a living. And in my case right now, I already missed a race that I intended to do. So I gotta kinda earn the keep a little bit here. So here we go. This was a short trip, short turnaround. So it was a lot to ask uh, Aaron and the little boy to come. Next week I'm headed to uh, Germany to do some aero testing. Once again, it's very short turnaround because I got to get back to training, man. How do you win races? Training. And, uh, you know, training's been subpar here. So I'm really, really excited to get back to training. Give 
bunch of bottles. Yeah. We're pretty full. Sorry. <laughs> bunch of bottles. They put their shoe. Oh, custom. Those are nice. Super cool. Nice. Oh, just for you too. Hey, I'm gonna need that, that tomorrow, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, look at this. Hollywood, baby. Man, who would have thunk? Coming, you made, made it. it. You're all the way in Hollywood, recording commercials. Yep. What do you do when you have a stress fracture? What do you do? Come to Hollywood and film commercials. Would you rather be in Hollywood filming commercials or would you rather be racing? Um, I'd rather have raced St. George and have this have been a nice celebratory week. Scissors out. All right, tell us about this. Uh, now I remember tell us what that you're I here took doing. them out. And what is this, what is this tape on here from? That's embarrassing. Why do we have to bring that up? Because <laughs> it's funny. I did this photo shoot last year with the feed and I packed up my bike in this same hotel room one year ago today. And well, this is the tape from packing it up. <laughs> so. And that was the Tour de France commercial. <clears throat> yes, correct. And that's what you're here doing again. I'm not sure what they're using this commercial for, to be honest with you. No idea. Didn't ask. <clears throat> Defeat.com.